Good sit. Heel. So I'm working on loose leash walking with Fairy. Heel is the command for walk next to me on the left hand side with a loose leash, meaning no tension in the leash. Good job. When she's doing a good job, I'm going to let her know and reward with a treat. She has a little trouble walking and eating at the same time. Good heel. Good job. Heel. I'm going to give her a little leash reminder as we pass the distraction. Heel. Good job. Good girl. So she should walk at your pace. Whether you want to walk fast or walk slow in a heel position, she should walk next to you. When you stop, you're going to have her sit. Good girl. Here, you can eat easier when you're not walking. Good job. We're going to praise and reward when she's doing a good job. And then we're going to use the leash to remind her when she makes a little mistake or tries to walk a far ahead or doesn't sit when we ask her to. Heel. So when you start working with Fairy in the heel position, start by having a leash on. As you advance throughout her training, you can graduate heel to off leash healing, but that does take a little bit of practice. So I recommend having a leash on. So like right now she's like, come on, she's a little far behind. We can tell her, come on, you can get up here and walk next to us. We just don't want her walking in front of us. Good heel. So when you take her on a leash walk, 85 to 90% of your walk should be in the heel position. The other 10 to 15%, you can have her free. Free is the command for you don't have to be in a structured position anymore. So she can sniff, go to the bathroom, kind of explore at the end of the leash. Sit. Good girl. Now, I would reward while we're walking, but with the phone in my hand, it's a little challenging to do that. And she's not <laughs> the easiest to walk and eat treats. She'd rather stop and sit so she can enjoy her treat a little bit. Heel. So I let her know it's time to start walking by giving her the heel command, and then I start walking. Heel. I give her the command again as I change direction. Good heel. So she knows what's going to happen next without me needing to give her a leash reminder. Good job. Good girl. Let's see if you can walk and eat. Good heel. Oh, good job. Good heel. And then if you practice enough, this could transfer to when you're riding a horse, having her heel next to you while you're at first just walking next to the horse and then graduating to actually riding the horse with her walking next to you but it is a gradual step. You always start easy by having the leash in her hand, or in your hand, walking her next to you, and then leading the horse. Nope, heel, good girl. And then, nope, heel, leading the horse with your other hand, rewarding as she gets used to that distraction. Good heel. Something over there, they're working on a semi, that probably distracted her a little bit, but you're doing a good job. So when she gets distracted, it's just a gentle tug of the leash to remind her to walk with us. Come on. Good job. And if she's falling behind, just a little encouragement. Come on, good girl. To get back into our space. Sit. Good job. And that is loose leash walking with Fairy. Good girl.